All right, so what do you usually look for in a budget gaming laptop? Well, price, of course, maybe build quality, performance, etc. Those are all fair criteria. Now what if I told you that there is something that ticks most of those boxes and doesn't break the bank? This is the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3, an amazing budget gaming laptop. So, the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3, what makes it so good? Well, firstly, we gotta talk about that price. Not only does it come with a great deal of features, but its price tag is just mwah, splendid. It definitely has some competition, namely the Acer Aspire 5, which does beat it in some categories, but this laptop has a certain charm to it of just looking like a normal laptop. Nothing gamery. My idea pad comes in the shadow black package with a white LED lit keyboard that doesn't have anything flashy or any crazy logos. For the build, it's all plastic, which is yeah, not very premium, but it gets the job done. And the keyboard is very satisfying to type on, while the trackpad is fairly adequate. The IdeaPad Gaming 3 has some solid dimensions, including a 15.6 inch form factor and an acceptable, but maybe a little heavy, five pounds of muscle, which might make it a little difficult to travel with, especially for college students. So I recommend taking it with a case. Now for the screen, the laptop has a 120 hertz display, which is great for playing games on. The smoothness of a high refresh rate screen is really satisfying. You need to see it to understand what I'm talking about. However, my one gripe with this screen is its brightness. It can be quite dark, especially in a fairly lit room. If you typically play at night or in a dark setting, this won't be an issue. But if you play in broad daylight, keep that factor in mind. It might be a little hard to see. Now going back to the stellar features of this device, let's talk about connectivity. Because I am quite impressed, actually. It's got a great selection of ports that any gamer would appreciate. Now one thing to note though is the USB-C port cannot be used for charging. Unfortunately, and for me personally, I actually would have liked to have another USB-A port on the left side because they're both on the right where my mouse usually is. So, not great. Now this is a gaming laptop, so we need to talk about its gaming performance, which is actually pretty darn good for the price. In terms of a typical gamer's use, this thing will be able to satisfy nearly all of your needs. The configuration I'm rocking is the starter model with upgraded storage. And despite being the starter model, this laptop's performance is really impressive. Check out these benchmarks. It's not something that I would say is the best performing gaming PC on the market. There are definitely better ones at a higher price tag, but for the price, it's really incredible, only being outcompeted by the Acer Aspire 5 on occasion. Moving on, let's discuss the storage situation. Usually most laptops these days are pretty stingy with their SSD configurations, sacrificing storage for more features, but this laptop doesn't really do that. Mine sports a 512 gigabyte SSD, which for the price, yeah, it's not bad. For gaming, yeah, it's not amazing because most games take up a boatload of storage. But for my budget-minded folks, know that this laptop won't break the bank if you upgrade its storage. And since it's a gaming laptop, you can open up the IdeaPad Gaming 3 and upgrade it yourself. Now, 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 before we get ahead of ourselves, here's one thing that I can genuinely say is not great about this laptop. And that's kind of to be expected, the battery life. Yes, it's common knowledge that gaming laptops do not have superb batteries, and this one is no exception. It's not terrible by any stretch, but it lasts for about five hours on average, so don't be shocked by it. However, it does charge pretty fast using Lenovo's Big Brick Charger, so that's a plus, but don't expect a game on the battery for too long. Now, here's something that I think will be a little controversial. Lenovo packages this laptop with a pre-installed software that pretty much maintains your computer for you. It's called Lenovo Vantage. It checks the PC's temperature, keeps it updated, and can help you configure the performance the way you want. And for some, it can be annoying, feeling like it's the training wheels for your PC. But for me, and for someone who doesn't have a ton of time and just wants a computer that works, this will do the job for you. So to each his own, but know that this laptop does have a little bit of bloatware. Now going back to the laptop -y side again, the IdeaPad Gaming 3 comes with a webcam with a built-in shutter privacy slider that many people will appreciate. And in terms of camera quality, yeah, it's not great, but hey. <laughs> and the screen does have a little bit of wobble, as some people have pointed out, but it doesn't seem to be too big of an issue for me. For you, though, maybe keep that in mind. And lastly, the laptop runs Windows 11. 
So, is the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 the perfect laptop for you? Well, let's get this out of the way. There is no perfect gaming laptop, unless you spend a boatload of money on it. But the IdeaPad Gaming 3 is a great device, one that goes on sale very often, so you can get it for an even cheaper price than retail. However, there is a new one coming out, so keep that in mind too. Is the gaming laptop perfect? No, it checks off most of my boxes, but its battery life and its display brightness could be improved upon. But if you can look past those though, then yeah, I'd say it's a nearly perfect budget gaming laptop for you. It's extremely economical, especially for a college student like myself. It's also not too heavy. I mean, it's not light, but it's still very portable. And it's very low key and still very high performing. So I'd say if you want a gaming laptop that has all those qualities and still doesn't break the bank, the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 is an amazing $700 laptop for you. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, but not like Cyrus, dude. Just take out the tear. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Peace.